there was a whole thing and they were having him train on injuries and all this stuff. And people were like, wait, what? They took how much money? It's like, well, that, that's the contract. Yeah. It's not, this shouldn't be a surprise, bro. <laughs> you know, like my boss told me that, that back in the day, the fighters didn't know how much they would get. They would receive whatever their gym boss was giving them. They would, they would not know how much they would get for a fight. Where nowadays you have contracts, even in Thailand, where you, where you, where like one championship, for example, tells you how much you'll be getting on one Friday fight, how much is your bonus, and then you work it out with your gym how much of a percentage you would give for your for that fight, and then how much of a percentage you would give if you would win the ten thousand dollar bonus. Yeah, but like, yeah, people forget also that they have to pay like gym and coach. It. It's like after every fight, you have to pay for the people that wrap your hands, that give you massage. You have to most likely pay for your training partners if they have a very hard fight prep with you. Like you should be giving them a few bucks. You know, it's not a lot, but it adds up. Like you need to make sure that you're paying coaches and stuff. Like people think like they come here and then the whole fight money is for 